Hey everybody, I hope you're having an awesome summer. So it's dill pickle time. This is one of my favorite times of year. Yay! Food-wise, everything's starting to come out. Um, and my first jar of dill pickles is just about ready and I wanted to show you how that I check um, if they're ready. So when I'm fermenting pickles, this means um, not using any vinegar. So fermented pickles have all the probiotic benefits and um, you don't want to use vinegar, you're using just salt water. So if this is the style of pickle that you're making, I wanted to show you um, how to tell if they're fully sour. So I'm gonna switch the camera around here and just show you my little brew station. So this is what I've got, dill pickles, and they're wonderfully cloudy. So you can see my little bath cap I have here. This is by Lox and Lambs. They do really cute little bath caps. Um, and I use them for fermentation. They're just cotton on the top and uh, vinyl on the bottom so they're washable and stuff. And they just keep the fruit flies out. And then I've got a little ceramic topper. So this is really low tech. And I'm gonna show you inside the jar. So this is what they look like. And you can see that they are starting to turn olive green. These have been in there for six days, I think, now. Sometimes I find they take up to 10. So I've got my dill pickles here. And I'm just gonna show you, when I cut them, what they look like. So here, I'll set it up. So we can see each other. And you can see this pickle. <laughs> so you can see the olive color here. Um, and when I slice into it, you want to see that it's fully fermented. So this one here, you can still see a uh, quite solid white color and it's a little bit olive on the outside. So it almost looks like raw on the inside versus cooked on the outside. So fermentation is like a kind of, uh, like cooking without heat, right? Um, which means that when I taste this, I can expect it to be about half sour. Um, and it actually used to be that you could buy pickles called half sours, and some people prefer them that way. So the big moment, I tasted my first pickle of the season, my first dill pickle of the season, and it is half sour. So this would be totally up someone's alley if they didn't like the real tangy bite, but I'm gonna let the rest of these go for like another three or four days. I'm gonna be out of town, so perfect. Um, they shouldn't eat any sort of babysitting while I'm there. Um, and when I get back, I'll have a perfectly pickled jar of cucumbers. So that's super exciting. Um, yeah, so that's what's happening. Um, I guess I'll post the link below. I am actually doing a pickling class at um, Homestead Junction in August. And so you can learn how to make dill pickles, but we can also do pickled carrots and turnips and whatever else is seasonal. All right, I will talk to you soon. Bye.